Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question number of one bits. Okay, so this question is very simple, so let me explain with my solution code. If you understand this, you can solve this question. So we have a constraint saying the input must be a binary string of length 32, so we loop 32 times at most. And uh, in the loop, um, look at the, uh, this if statement. So what is this part? So uh, in the loop, we perform right bit shift. So this means um, we shift uh, we shift a bit i times to right. So for example, uh, let's say uh, current number is 11, and uh, we shift to the right just one time. So in the case, so 11 should be like 0, uh, 1, 0, 1, 1. And uh, we shift uh, to the right one time. So that should be uh, 1, 0, 1. And uh, we put 0 into uh, like a left space. So 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is a 11. So this is a 5. So although um, it's uh, unrelated to the problem, but the performing right shift by one bit result in the value being halved, like from 11 to 5. And uh, by two bits um, result in the value being quartered. So next should be like a 1, 0, 0, 0. So this means 2, right? OK, next. So let me explain why we execute bitwise and 1. So first of all, look at this. So I put OR and XOR as a reference. So regarding a, a bitwise AND, so we will get 1 as a result only when both inputs are 1. So otherwise, um, we get 0. So we use this logic. OK, so let me explain why we execute bitwise AND 1. So first of all, look at uh, this. So I put OR and XOR as a reference. So regarding a bitwise AND, so we will get 1 as a result only when both inputs are 1. Otherwise, 0. We will get 0. So we use this logic. So a bitwise AND 1 means uh, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So um, in the most right bit, so we will get 1. So other um, bit position is all 0. So uh, we can say except the rightmost bit, uh, there is no way we get 1 as a result. So because uh, we calculate result of so right shift and 1. So let me show you uh, how we calculate. OK, so let's see one by one. So first of all, we iterate through 32 times. So first value of i is 0, right? So in the case, we don't shift to the right. So we use uh, input number itself. So let's say input e is like this. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. And uh, we calculate a bitwise AND operation. And uh, um, we use 1. So that means 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So this is an input 2. So we calculate. So one by one. So first bit is one, right? One and one. So one and one is one, right? But uh, look at the uh, other position. So we have all zero, right? In input two. So that means um, we and the result should be all zero. So zero 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 one. That means one. So in the case, uh, this uh, if statement is true. So that's why add plus one to result variable. So now result is 1. And then move next. So i value is 1. So we shift to the right one, one time. So this is our original input number. And if, if we move to right one time, we will get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, right? And uh, as I explained earlier, we put 0 uh, into the left space. So calculate this number and uh, 1. So result should be, so first bit is 1. And uh, other than that, all 0, right? But uh, we get 1. So um, uh, in the case, that is true case. So add 1 
to result variable two. And then I move next. So we do the same thing. We shift uh, twice um, to the right. So we will get one zero, right? And uh, so one zero and zero one should be all zero, right? So zero and one is zero, and one and zero is zero, and zero and zero is zero. So uh, all zero, so that means zero. It's a false case, so we don't update the result variable. And then uh, when i is three, so we will get so zero 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 one, and uh, calculate uh, um, and one. So one and one is one, right? So that's why uh, we add plus one to result variable. And then all we have to do is just return this three. So original input is so has three ones, right? One, two, three. So that's why uh, this result is correct. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, initialize result variable with zero. And uh, start looping. So for i in range. And uh, we iterate through 32 times. And then if, and uh, so right shift and i bitwise end one. So if this is true, so add plus one to result variable. And that's it. So after that, return less. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of one. So because we iterate through 32 times, so that is the order of 32, and we simplify order of 32, which is O1. And the space complexity is O1, so we don't use uh, extra data structure, just simple variable. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.